All right, hi, hello. Guess what I just have in front of me? I have the new Jeffree Star Blue Blood Palette. I was online earlier today trying to order this. I could not for the life of me get through and then my friend Karen Harris, thank you so much. I will link her channel down below. She was like, you should call the Morphe store and see if they have it in the store. So I called Morphe and they had it in the store and I have the palette. So we are going to get into this today. I am so excited. I haven't been this excited about a palette in I don't even know when, like it's been a very long time, but this is so up my alley. So the palette comes in a little box like this. I'm not going to bore you with a lot of boring details about this, but this is what the packaging looks like. And here is the beautiful palette. It's actually not as big and bulky as I thought it was going to be. I was expecting it to be bigger. Like I don't have the blood sugar palette, the red one. So I didn't know like what the size was going to be like and I thought it was going to be bigger. So this is kind of like a nice surprise because I was afraid it was going to be too bulky. I also ended up getting the Jeffree Star Liquid Lipstick Mini Blue Bundle thing. This is what this looks like. And I'm gonna do a lip swatching video right after this. So I'm going to put that into a separate video though so that we can just focus on the palette today. So I'm not going to bore you for much longer. You've all seen the palette already and this is what it looks like. So we're just gonna start off by swatching this and this is kind of hard to open when you're trying to show it on camera. So I think I'm just going to start swatching this. So we're gonna swatch from left to right, top to bottom and then I will come back after I'm done with the swatches and we can kind of talk about the swatches a little bit and then we can get into trying it out on the eyes, which is why I'm sure you're all here and what I am the most excited about. So let's do the swatches. Alright, just some quick thoughts about these swatches. I thought most of them swatched really nicely. Obviously there are some that are very light mattes that are just not going to show up that well, but the shimmers were really, really nice. I was very impressed by that uh, very dark blue. It's kind of like, it's a weird formula. It's very dry and kind of feels a bit crumbly, but when you swatch it, it sort of turns into a lot smoother and not velvety, but it's, it's definitely like a different kind of formula that might be a little bit crumbly, but I feel like if you foil this with some setting spray, it's going to work really nicely. So. I am really excited about this. I need to take a break though because I have not charged my battery enough apparently and that was such a fail. So I will be back when my camera has a little bit more battery and then we can continue with this and put some shadows on these eyes. Okay, let's try this again. I don't know how much battery I'm going to have, but we're going to try it. So I'm first going to start off by priming my eyes with my MAC Paint Pot and Soft Ochre. Alright, so for this look, I think I want to try to do something that's not like the most obvious thing to do. So I don't want to use like all of the super blue blue shadows in here because I feel like that's what everyone else is going to be doing. So I want to try to use maybe some of the less expected blues, I guess. So I definitely want to try out this teal shade. I also want to try out the minty shade as well as the first kind of top shimmery shade because that looks beautiful. So let me just think about this for a little bit and then I will come back and we can get started. So I think I'm going to start off by taking mint tea. This is so hard to hold up on camera, you have no idea. But I'm going to start off by taking mint tea on my Morphe E36 brush. And I'm going to put this in the inner part of my crease. I have not set my primer. And the shadow is showing up beautifully. I'm going to pull this about halfway across or so. And then for the outer part of my crease, I'm gonna go in with Flourishing. And this is probably the color that I'm the most excited about in this whole palette because this looks so pretty. I'm a sucker for a good teal, look at that. Oh, that is so cute. So I'm gonna put that in the outer part of my crease and also just meet it up with that first shade that I put down. Gently blend these in together. <laughs> I'm also going to connect this in the outer corner as well as bring the shadow down to my lower lash line. I will say when I tried to wipe off the swatches earlier that it definitely seemed like these are going to stain because they did not come off very easily. So just a little heads up if uh, you have a problem with staining, it definitely might happen with these. And it seems to happen a lot for me with uh, blue eyeshadows, but I don't really care because I'll just cover it up with eyeshadow the next day anyway. So. 
not a big deal for me as someone who wears makeup every day, but if you are someone who, you know, might go to work the next day and not wear any makeup or something, you might be a little bit careful with these. But of course I'm going to do a more full in-depth review after I'm done with my 10 look video. So if you want to stick around and you want to see 10 more looks with this palette, I'm going to have that up within a week or so. And if you want to see the other 10 looks palette videos that I made, I will link those up in the cards for you so you can go check those out. So I mean, this is looking so beautiful. So far I am super impressed with both of these shadows. They perform beautifully. So what do I want to do next? I don't want to do a cut crease in this look because I prefer not to do cut creases in my first impressions just so I can see how the shimmers are going to lay on top of the mattes because there are times where I just don't want to do cut creases so I want to be able to know that I can make a look kind of look like a cut crease without it being a cut crease so we're not going to be doing that today so I think the next shadow that I want to go in with is going to be cremated which is this shadow right here and this is like a dark teal I suppose I guess I would call it that and I'm still just using my Morphe E36 brush and I'm going to put this in my outer corners. And just use this to deepen up the look with. And I'm going to bring that about halfway into my lid. And I'm also using the same brush to just blend this into the first shade that I put down in the crease. <laughs> So this was another shadow that built up beautifully, easy to blend out, super easy to work with so far, but I'm not really surprised because I did get the Alien palette, which was my first ever Jeffree Star palette. I know I should be better than that, but that was my first palette and I thoroughly enjoyed that and I had such a good time working with that one as well. So next up what I want to do is I want to take Entitled, which is this kind of tealy shimmery shade, and I'm going to start putting that on about the middle of my eye now. I'm gonna try this first without spraying it because I just didn't feel like I had to when I dipped into the pan and it doesn't look like I have to. That is beautiful. And so just gently blending that into my crease as well as the outer corner shadow. And I want this to kind of flow seamlessly. I know I said I wanted to be able to see if I could make a look look like a cut crease, but I don't want this look to look like a cut crease. I just wanna see what happens when I layer this like on top of the mattes if it's going to cover them up and it definitely looks like it will. And I'm probably going to have to go in with a bit more of that dark matte because this shadow is going so far and going such a long way even though I didn't put on a lot. So taking a bit more of that outer corner shade now and I'm just going to bring that back a little bit and also just make sure that the blend here is looking good. I'm having a little bit of fallout with these shades, but not much, and it's easily removed with a brush, so it's not really a big deal. So what do I want to do next? Do I want to use a different color, or do I just want to use shimmer? I think just to make this look a little bit different, I'm going to go in with Untouchable, which is this kind of light pink shade up here. And this might look crazy and a little bit out of place, but I'm going to put that on the lower lash line here. I think that's such a cute shade. And then for the last shade, I'm gonna dip into Cullinan, I think this is called. Is this a duochrome blue? I think that is a duochrome blue. That could be really cute. So I'm gonna put that basically where I don't have any shadow yet, as well as wrap it around down to my lower lash line. This is not as intense without spraying, so I'm gonna try to spray my brush. Yeah, that is a lot better. It just didn't really seem like it wanted to be super opaque without being sprayed, but that's okay since I usually spray my shimmers anyway. I'm just gently fading that right over that middle teal shade on the lid. I will say I think this shade right here is going to be a lot better on top of a sticky base, like a concealer or something, where you have a bit more of a sharp line because I see now when I'm trying to layer that over the mat that I already put down that there's a bit of a line and it's looking a bit transparent like on my eye here and it could definitely be better used as a topper maybe or just an inner corner shade or like I said on top of a cut crease because I am kind of seeing like my skin through here and I'm not getting it as opaque as I would like for it to be so next time I will probably try to layer this on top of another shadow instead not just on its own but that's not to say it's not a beautiful shadow because it's stunning, but it's not 
as opaque as I thought it was going to be. So unfortunately, I feel like I lost a bit of that pink underneath my eyes. So I want to see if maybe I have some kind of a pink glitter that I can put there. And so the only one that I have is actually more of like a warm toned one. I don't know how this is going to go with this look. I don't know how I feel about that. I kind of wish I had a different one. Let me take a look again. So I do have this one by Stila and this is more of a purple kind of lilac-y one, but I think I want to use a bit of this. So I'm going to take Gypsy and I'm going to take this on a small brush and then I'm just going to put that in the first part of my lower lash line here. And this was totally my fault for putting on a little bit too much of that inner corner shade above where I put down that pink. So this is cute, I like this. So what should I do in my waterline? I'm thinking I kind of want to do white. I could also do purple. Maybe I'll go with the purple just to kind of do a different color combination that's not really in the palette. So I'm going to take, I think this is Crybaby by Colourpop. Gonna put this in my waterline, then I'm gonna do some wing liner mascara and I will be right back. So this is going to be the eye look all done. I really like how this turned out. I think this is so cute and I, so far I'm very impressed by this palette. So. For lipstick, I'm not going to use one of the blue ones because, like I said, I'm going to do a lip swatching video. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that now because I'm running very low on battery again. So, But I am going to do that and I want to save those lipsticks for that reason. So I'm going to put on one by Jeffree Star though and this is Doll Parts. And I feel like a pink is going to look really nice for this look. And I might end up putting a gloss on top of this after. I have not yet decided, so let's put this on first. So this lipstick is getting pretty dried up because it's one of my oldest one from Jeffree Star. So on top of that, I'm just going to go in with my Fenty Gloss Balm in the shade Fussy. And this is going to be the completed look. So I don't really want to say too much about this palette yet because like I said, it is a first impression. So I'm not going to, you know, make any conclusions yet because I do plan on doing a 10 looks one palette, like I said, with this palette. So if you want to hear my thoughts after I've done 10 looks, you might want to consider subscribing because that will be coming up, like I said, probably within a week or so. I'm usually pretty quick at getting these videos up for you guys because I know a lot of people are wanting to see that. So yeah, that's going to be all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give this video a like, tell your friends, share the video and so on. And I hope you are all having a fantastic day and hopefully I will see you all in my next one. Bye.